episode 16 of building my first model railway and to my YouTube channel, uh, Chapel Station. Uh, thanks for checking in, I'm Mark. Uh, in this episode, I get back to doing some more scenics on my railway. Uh, I've stopped playing with my underground train for a little while that you'd have seen in the last episode, uh, and that sort of inspired me to get on with that end of, of the actual layout. Uh, so I'm really aiming to create a real urban sort of inner London feel, uh, inspired by my trip to London a few weeks ago. Took some videos and photographs of the arches and uh, that mix of underground trains, overground trains, uh, and little workshops and that set up in the arches and that. So that's uh, the feel I've, I've aimed to create, and uh, and I think I, you know, and I think I have. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what you think. But um, yeah, I really want to create that urban area to contrast to sort of the country area and the country station behind me. Um, so that was the aim. Uh, so let's see how I get on. I'll hand back to myself a few weeks ago and, uh, and you can be the judge of uh, what I've created. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll speak to you again in a minute. So for my bridge, I, I did download some scale scenes um, Gerda bridge supports it in the paper, but to be honest, it looked so fiddly and I was a bit fed up of doing them paper, cutting out paper and sticking to cardboard. So I've actually bought these Pico ones. Um, so before I put them in place, I'm going to have a go at rusting them with um, some ammo, ammo, ammo uh, rust, which I've been using on the tracks, and then some of the DC Concepts weathering powders, just to bring out the, the rivets and rust edges, and I might even try and put a bit of graffiti on from the scale scenes and cut that out and maybe stick that on as well. So um, that's the plan, and uh, let's see how I go. So I think I've just about finished. I have, um, so I was just using the sponge, a bit of old makeup sponge, that I got from the missus, um, and a bit of dry brushing, brushing as well. So um, just a bit of dry brushing, you see there, a lot of dabbing. And I actually got a reference picture on my iPad there, just so I could have a, sort of an idea of what I was trying to affect, I was trying to get. And then, so I'm pretty, yeah, pretty pleased with that. And then I cut out a couple of graffiti signs and stuck them on there as well, just try to weather around them as well. So, Hold it on that. Probably have gone mine are probably a bit more weathered than the actual picture. So I'm gonna stop there before I overdo it and see what they look like on the layout. Okay, so this is how my Gerda bridge um, supports look on the layout. I've had to fix an extra piece of wood as you can see that along there. That's glue an extra sort of piece to bring it out so there's enough clearance on the curve for the coaches. It's not so bad at the back. Um, and then I'll put a printed girder along there. And then for the um, tube line, I'm going to have a row of arches, which uh, a couple will actually have um, pretty garages or lockups or something in them. And then the middle one there will actually be the tunnel. And then I'm going to continue with arches underneath the bridge as well. I'll just insert a little picture here of sort of the thing I'm looking for. And then when you look through, I'll probably just have a, a photo at the back there so it looks like the road continues. And then here I'm going to have to put a level crossing as well. Um, which is a bit unusual, I think, level crossings on the underground. I believe there's only one and that's at uh, a depot, but it's my layout and I want to have level crossing and I want to have a road, so uh, so don't think there's any option there. But it'd be fun to have a level crossing, even if it's slightly unrealistic. Uh, and then with my tube, uh, 1938 tube stock, I have just nice and clearance there. So, so yeah, I think that'll look the part. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do on the top here. I was thinking maybe build that up. I've looked at uh, some Google Maps or sort of Google Earth, should I say, of London 
where you've got lines and roads and tubes and that, and, and it's all quite industrial. It doesn't really fit in the back scene, but I think if I had some low relief, maybe offices or something, then you'll sort of actually lose the back scene pretty much once you get into the corner. Because uh, I want it all to be covered around here and then eventually to have it, the train pop out under here where the tube station will ultimately be. So yes, yeah, coming on slowly. Um, so I'll give you a quick update and uh, start trying to actually do some more of the scale scenes, cardboard that I said I wouldn't do, but um, it's the only way I think I'm going to get this to look perfect. So yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. So I've just about finished the arches now. So um, just show you what I did. I just glued it onto standard cardboard box paper. And the reason I did that is I wanted a bit of thickness so that there's these really thin strips and you can see them there that you put around the edge to create the arch. And I haven't done one on that because that's going to be the tunnel. But you can see. And I thought it was a lot easier just to a slightly thicker card or cardboard box shall I say um, to then just stick it round and try and actually put another edge on and then with the um, with the arch kit I printed them cut them out put the name plaque above it and then put a bit of depth I've glued that onto card and then glued the doors onto a separate piece of card so it gives you a bit of depth to the actual that one's going to be an open door so you can actually see into that one so I want to be like that so you can actually see in. Um, <clears throat> and hopefully I'll have a light inside it and maybe some tyres and stuff. No, the rest are just sealed closed. But again, just to give them a bit of depth, I've set the cardboard back. So, and I think um, when it's all lined up, I think it's going to look pretty good when it's on that shawl. Sorry, <laughs> it's on the layout. So it's got to build the tunnel for that one, the internal tunnel for that one, so you can see him when you see him in the door, and hopefully get it all to fit underneath the actual bit of wood I showed you earlier. So this is what my railway arches look like finished. You can see now they're all glued to the actual brick arches. I've put the tunnel on for the underground, and I've put a floor, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a floor and there's a tunnel. You can see on top there, there's a tunnel as well for that. Just see it there. Put a bit of graffiti on those as well. And the hardest thing was to try and do this archway, so that's to be an angle because the, the railway curves, so the third radius curve there. So getting that fixed on, cutting that, showing the top there at that angle, and clearing it's probably the, the most difficult bit. But um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad at all. So now I've just got to put it on there and hope it will fit and looks okay actually on the railway. So I'll show you that in a second. So that's it with the carriages now in their final place. I've also put the road down um, and the pavement. And then uh, for the road I've used the um, same view before, but the felt roofing that's just the underside, which is obviously like a tarmac finish. And I've just put the lines on that. Also done the level crossing. Again, just cut them, use a paper template to cut them. And the same for the pavement. And um, just got these little level crossing arms. Eventually I, I want to have the um, lights that are automated. But for now these will do. Uh, you can see there's a billboard above the garages now. That came in the pack with the uh, arches, I think it was. Um, and some nice 1980s adverts here for Capri and Marlboro's uh, and then I've put uh, a bit of cardboard on the top here just to um, just to finish that off for now I'm not quite sure eventually what's going to be there but I think that at least that finished it off and makes it look okay and a bit of brick paper around the sides uh, and then if you look under the bridge I'm just trying to come out the shade of the light but you can see I've just put a photo of um, some arches and a roadway in London. Uh, so although you don't really see it that well, at least you can get the impression that it's continuing and not just uh, stopping at a wall. So I think it works quite well. 
and then the tunnel's finished for the tube train. I'll probably just need to continue the brick paper a bit further because you can still see that it doesn't continue all the way through. So I'll need to do that and ballast it all and weather the tracks and all that good stuff as well. So, but all in all, I think it's looking pretty good. Still needs a lot of finishing, lots of details. I want to get some tires and jacks and maybe some mechanics and that for the garage so they can jack up a car and some bins and all sorts to make it a lot more urban. But the, the essential bits are in place now. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So hopefully you found the uh, video useful and interesting if you made it to the end. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to give me a like button uh, and subscribe and hit the bell button if you want reminders when I post videos. I'm going to try and do it every week or two. Probably be a few weeks before you get the next one though because I am going away on holiday for a, for a couple of weeks. So just to give you a bit of warning, the next one might be a little bit delayed because I won't have a chance to do any more work on the, on the railway. Um, but still, I'll uh, try and get one up as soon as I've got something worthwhile to show you. So thanks very much for watching. Um, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy modelling.